Hey guys, it's me Kimberly Clark and welcome to this tutorial for this lovely purpley bluish electric palette look. Welcome to my tutorial! So I got a lot of requests for a tutorial on this eye look and it's actually I think one of the first eye looks that I have recreated, like that I've done, that I've like actually tried to do the exact same look of. It's a very simple look that I did really quickly. Like I kind of have been like, you know, just whipping out the eye like as quick as possible, just kind of get out the door. Been busy, bu been a busy gal. I love the Urban Decay Electric Palette because of its pigmentation. It's pure pigments, like pressed pigments. So they're really, really potent. And so it doesn't really take that much time to kind of build up a ton of color as you can see in this tutorial. So for those of you that requested a tutorial on this look, I hope you enjoy it. And please stay tuned to watch this tutorial. Enjoy. All right, first off, I'm starting as usual with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white as a base, just over the inner half of my lid. Then I am blending that out and smoothing it with an e.l.f. contour brush. Then taking my Urban Decay Electric Palette and the shade Gonzo on a flat shader brush, wetting it with MAC Fix Plus, and applying it by patting it directly on to the inner third of the lid. Wetting these pigments gets the fastest, most opaque color payoff. And I love how quickly you can build up a very deep, intense tone. Then I'm taking the shade Jilted on the other side of that same brush, also wetting it and applying it directly to the center of the lid with that same patting motion, slightly overlapping that first shade, Gonzo. This jilted shade is going to kind of act as a transition shade between the blue and the purple in this eye look. Now you can see just by overlapping them, they kind of already organically blend, but we're going to blend it out a little bit further anyway. Then I'm taking the shade Urban on that same brush, not wetting it this time, and just adding that to the outer third of my eye and slightly overlapping that center shade Jilted. I'm basically just creating a very smooth ombre between the blue through this kind of reddish pinky purple shade into the purple. And I'm slightly blending those shades together with a Morphe blending brush. Then taking my trusty Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette and the shade Lazarus, this kind of medium gray transition shade, I'm applying that to where I'm going to be blending out my crease, and I'm using an e.l.f. crease brush. Because that pigment of the Urban Decay shadows is so strong, I don't have to really worry about being very precise with this. I can kind of overlap them a little bit, and I'll still have a clean line. Then I am taking the shade Salios, a kind of deeper gray shade, and I am just deepening up the bottom of that crease. I'm not going crazy with the cut crease here. As I said, the pigment of the Urban Decay shadows underneath kind of automatically creates that cut crease for me and I'm going for a softer look. Then with the remaining product on that brush, I'm going to blend out the top of that crease. Then I'm taking the shade Shax on a flat liner brush. I think this one's from Morphe. And I am just kind of gently brushing it where my cut crease would be. I'm not doing a very intense kind of cut crease line, but I am deepening up the kind of bottom most inner part of my crease. As you can see, I'm kind of creating a thick line because I'm going to then be blending that out. I'm also taking that in down toward my lash line, creating that dramatic outer V. Then I am blending out that black shade on the top and bottom with my e.l.f. crease brush. Now if I were doing a cut crease, I would only blend upward, but since I'm trying to soften this look up a little bit, I am doing a little bit of blending on the bottom of that line too, to make it not super harsh and dramatic. Then I'm taking the shade Revolt from the Urban Decay Electric Palette on another flat shader brush, and I am placing that on the inner corner 
right over that blue gonzo shade just to create a little bit more of a highlight. The shade is really super sparkly, so a little goes a long way. Today I'm drawing in my brows with an OCC Cosmetic Color Pencil in the shade Trick, and I am just doing a traditional kind of ombre with some shades from the Shade and Light palette, then cleaning up underneath, and then blending out my crease into that brow highlight. I'm using my Physician's Formula Eye Booster to do a wing. And I'm lining the inner half of my lower lash line with the NYX Slide On Eye Pencil in the shade Platinum. And I'm really taking this down a little bit in my inner corner area to kind of create a more dipped down inner corner of the eye. and Make it look a little bit more dramatic. And then taking my Rimmel Exaggerate Black Eyeliner and I'm going to tight line. Then taking this hot pink shade Savage, again from the Urban Decay Electric palette, on a very short shader brush. This one's from Sigma. I am dabbing that under the outer half of my lower lash line and under my wing. Then taking a pencil brush from Morphe, I'm adding some of that black matte eyeshadow Shax from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye palette to kind of create that lower lash shape. And then blending it all out and together with my e.l.f. crease brush. Adding a touch more of that Savage shade to pinken up the bottom of the eye. Then curling my lashes, applying my favorite mascara, Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Waterproof Mascara, and applying some false eyelashes. Today I am applying one pair of these kind of custom sliced up lashes and a pair of very dramatic sparkly lashes from Patricia Field, which is no longer open, <laughs> but they just have a kind of silvery glitter sparkle overspray on top. Then on the bottom, I'm applying some lashes that I sliced up to create the kind of signature Kimberly Clark lash situation. If you want more information on how I apply my lashes, check out my This Is My Face tutorial section about lashes. Adding my highlighter today, I believe I'm using Becca Moonstone. And then I'm applying my Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade Justify My Love. For lips, I am outlining my lips with a NYX lip pencil in the shade Deep Purple, and then filling in the inside of my lips with a ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Brills. Topping that off with Milani Moisture Matte in the shade Matte Glam, followed by the shade Power Peony from the Maybelline Rebel Bloom Collection. Taking a brief pause from lips to apply my Beauty Mark with my Physicians Formula Liquid Eyeliner. And then finishing up the lips with some MAC Lip Mix in white as a center highlight. Cleaning up the lip line a little bit with a lip brush. Oh, and this is a little trick that I've been doing a lot recently. I add a little bit of eyelash glue with the back of a brush to the bottom of my top lashes and top of my bottom lashes, and I actually glue them together. This will keep my eyelash shape intact throughout the night, even if some of the glue starts popping off. Finishing up with some blue marble setting spray. And that is the finished look. This Urban Decay Electric Palette, very quick, blue, purple, ombre, with some silver accent, soft cut crease eye look. Thank you so much for watching that tutorial. I hope it made sense and was in focus and all that good stuff. I'm really happy with this look. Uh, I'm I'm glad people requested it so much and I'm, I'm happy to provide. If there's any other looks or things that you would like me to do, please just like let me know down below. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Like this video if you found it interesting. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out some of my other videos. You know, all that good stuff. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye.